and today we're going to be filming a little video about all the bags we have because we have quite yeah. a considerable collection. We, together. we are handbag people. Yes. And we're not, but we're not like handbag people. As in, every bag we have is like a designer bag. Yeah, and we don't have them like in every color. We just kind yeah. of have like really cool bags that we like. Yeah. Like. And we're kind of like rational people as well, so we won't buy two of the bag, two bags that will look the same. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like they all yeah. have a like a thing they do that yeah or a size. Like difference. if I'm going to a like clubbing, you know what bag I'm taking. Yes, yeah, so like, we It's the same bag all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So right. yeah, let's get on to it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the clutches. Um, the first one we've got here is one of our favorite brands. It's Naked Vice. It's just like really standard, like good little leather clutch. And I'm using it as my wallet at the moment. It's not like the most convenient wallet, because uh, like it's like coins, passport, everything just landing in there. But you know, it does the trick and it looks good. <laughs> yeah. And it's good at wristlet for um, clubbing, if that's your thing. It's not my thing. It's not really my thing either, but whatevs. Next. Ah. Next, um, we'll do this one. This is from a brand called James, and it's this cow, 100% cow. Hi. <laughs> yep. Leather um leather one. I've got this one white and black and Bronte's got the white and um kind of camel y colour. Cam cow colour. Cow colour. <laughs> yeah, so it folds them to like a big little clutch like that. Big little. Yeah, so like lots of, of storage space. I guess you could I don't I think I don't think the point is to hold it like this. I it's mean. to um yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you have it folded over. It is quite big, but like it's nice. It's a I good think it's statement. more of a statement one, yeah. Not like everyday use, especially yeah. with cowhide. Like it gets destroyed very easily. So I wouldn't want to put it through that. Exactly. Yeah. All right. The next one we've got is another sort of standard one, and it's still in its packaging because <laughs> that's how much of hoarders we are. Um, it's it was ten bucks. I had to buy it. Yeah, it's a cheapie from Sports Girl. It says secretly famous on it if you can read it. I and think we're like, ha ha ha. And we thought it was funny. Not that we think we're famous in any why. way, shape, or form, but I just thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. All right, next one. Um, next one we've got is this Zara clutch. As you can tell, it's been through the ringer. Yeah. I got this for Bronte in 2011. Um, so this is an, well, we're fashion people, but we weren't this type of fashion yeah. people. Yeah, we're a bit different. Yeah, we we're in different style, but yeah. Um, I remember Tula had it, and that's why I wanted to get it for her. Yeah, yeah. and I, I loved it. I still really like it. Like, I don't get it, I don't really ever use it. Yeah. Just because it's kind but, of a lot of a statement. But it's good for formals and stuff. We used to be gold people, but yeah. now we're silver people. So, so that's like an yeah. issue. But right. she had a top that matched it and wore it all the time. I, yeah, I'd like it. was it, a good outfit. It had little, like, yeah. um, sequin shoulders. Yes. Alright, the next one is another one of our sort of cheaper ones. And this is an ASOS one. It's super cute, it's got oh, ears. Cool. And it's like, it's like a smaller cat hide. Like, yeah. it's brushed, but only very little. And I like it because it's like, it's a nice good bag yeah. and it's cheap, but it's also Is it like an cheap. iPad case as well? Um, I don't know, it could be. Yeah, it could be. I just use it as a clutch though. Yeah. As you can tell, we don't really have like too many formal ones. No. I'm not really the clutch person. I tend, if I'm going somewhere formal, I tend yeah. to just use a black bag. Yeah. I just feel like it's less out there. All right, I think that's all our clutches. Yeah. We've got more, but we'll hold it so we can find them all. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> all right, so backpacks. Yeah. The we've got, okay, so they're all naked vice. And little disclaimer, okay. We We've actually got the same pink and vice bag. Yeah. Brunchy got this for me for my 20th birthday because she knew I really liked it. Before that, we kind of worked with naked vice before, but it was more loaning stuff because we we don't normally loan stuff per se, but we just really liked them yeah. and we really wanted to work with them. And obviously, we can't and they were really they're a new startup as well. Yeah, so. we can't afford like $500 every time we want to shoot a bag. Yeah, exactly. But we could afford this. Um, yeah. It was like 150, I think. Maybe yeah. 100, yeah. The, this was one of their first bags as well, and as you can see, I may have ordered myself one when I bought their <laughs> present. But they're so good and they're so like useful. Yeah, and I use mine all the time. Like I wear them to music festivals. Yeah. Clubbing. Oh, this is my clubbing bag. Yeah, this is my clubbing bag. Everyday well. bag. I mean, it fits my water, like one liter water bottle in it. It doesn't yeah. look like it, but it does. Like it's not good enough. It's not big enough. Sorry, it is not good enough. It's not big enough for like a uni bag, but everything else it kind of works for. Yeah. And it's easy like just. I would say this is like it the bag of my everyday bag. Yeah. It's not like too expensive that you can't. Like, like carry it around everywhere. Yeah. But it's exactly. also not like a cheapie that you'd be embarrassed carrying around. Yeah. Like it's not a 
copy. No, exactly. now now that I've said that, it's gonna like be like a bit of a copy. Or yeah, something. something you're gonna be like, yeah. Like here, someone's gonna be. It's not copy. like it's not like you're wearing an obvious like copy of something like I don't oh. even know, like a designer bag. Yeah, like it's its own thing. <laughs> yeah. All right, I got that. Next one is this one, and it's another naked box. I think they all are actually. Um, and it's the white one. I can't remember what it's called, but it's just a white backpack. Um, and it's just kind of undoes like that. And it's kind of like a satchel-y type. Yeah. But, like, it's so it's cute. A, it's so got the Cali, I think. Yeah. And that one, the other one we showed you was a caution. I think, you, I saw another way you can wear it. You can wear it like, yeah, I know. Like, like that. Like that. But I, I prefer it kind of. Yeah, I like it. I don't wear it, I don't use it as often, just because it's white. Yeah. And it, it might get a bit dirty, but it's cute as well, and it carries just as much stuff. It works for certain outfits, I think. Yeah. Like, yeah. not so cute. Like, okay. Yeah, we got that, at, um, we got gifted there, this. Just a yeah. disclaimer, but we still love it. <laughs> yeah. And, last one is a naked vice. It's one of these, like, really popular, um, drawstring backpacks. I use this as my uni backpack for a time. That's why the white leather is so destroyed. It's not like... It's not a reflection on the bag, it's a reflection on how manky of a person I am at uni. Yeah. Um, so yeah, fits my laptop, a drink bottle, food. Just it's a lot. Just all you need. And then you just like kind of do that. But then like the I tried wearing this going out, but then I well, lost my wallet. <laughs> yeah, I think it's... So, these so are I don't think you should wear yeah. this going out. These are foolproof for going out because the, another reason I don't use the Cali as much is because it's not got zips. And yeah. so if you're going to be having a bit of a boogie, like, stuff like oh, that. I wasn't, I just was not sober. Yeah, so, that's right. yeah. Like, can't trust drunk Yeah, drink. you can't trust me. I think that's all our backpacks. Yeah! Woo! Alright, next. The next section we have is totes, and we've got two. That one again is naked bags. <laughs> We got this at the warehouse as well. Um, it's like this crop. This is my current uni bag. So I upgraded from the white backpack just because I didn't want to ruin the white backpack even more unnecessarily. So this is obviously black. It's got this really nice crop embossed design. All the naked vice ones are 100% leather as well, which is another thing. I and the, the price is the price like it's not too cheap, but it's like doable for it's leather. It's like minimalistic, you know. Yeah. Like I'll be able to wear this. I mean. Wear most of them like for forever, yeah. like for as long as they last. And another thing I like about it is that it's a Melbourne startup. Yeah, and that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. All then, right. The next backpack, the next bag, sorry, is probably my favorite at the moment. Yeah. It gets so, like comments literally everywhere I go. That's um, a good sign. Yeah. It's. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good sign. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's, see, this oh, is, okay. that's the tail of the Springbok. It's it is Springbok, and I know that's a bit bad of me. But like, they're just like cows. Like if you're happy wearing a cow hide, you might as well happy wearing this. Um, and it's status anxiety. It's kind of super cool. Yeah. Another really just cool basics, kind of minimalistic. Yeah. That and it's Australian so cool. brand. It's like real soft. Next. So next one of the designer bags that I have. Um, the first one I have, I got for my 18th birthday from my parents. It's the Alexander Wang Brocco. Um, yeah, it's... I, I don't wear it so much just because it doesn't wear very well and I've seen really like ones in really terrible condition so I don't want to ruin it further. But you know, like it's a classic. It's been around for 10 years and it's never really gone out yeah. of style. So uh, mainly yeah. why I don't wear it is just because it's gold. And, and it's really heavy. Now. Yeah, yeah, and I'm more than Like this is it this is it empty and it's a yeah. bit like it's really heavy. I'm sure I'll like it again some time. So. Yeah. <laughs> Next one? Next one's my absolute fave. <laughs> Oh, it's the Provenza's Jeweler um, PS2 in the mini version, so there's a tiny version and there's a large version, but I like this version because this hardware to bag ratio is correct, yeah. in my opinion. Um, I got it for one for on sense.com and they usually come like around 2000 in Australia and that's one for with like shipping and currency and everything, so it's quite a bargain and yeah, my favourite feature, or Bronte's his favourite feature. Is that it has this flap that I didn't know it ever existed? It's just like full of crap. It's just oh look, great yeah, crap. Our, our um, business, business cards. cards. Yeah. Oh, we'll give out so much for them. Cool. Like the reason they're in there is because we never give them out. <laughs> but yeah, as you can tell from our blog post, we wear it like every single post. Yeah. Um, I kind of really wear it in real life for like special occasions, just because like I'm a bit precious. With yeah. Them. Um, and I mean, we have so many other bags that are like good quality that... Yeah, that yeah. I... Because normally if I am going like to an event anyway, 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I just... I guess it's a show-off piece. Yeah. And you can wear it as a clutch as well. Um, just take off these straps and it's like a... <laughs> yeah! Yeah! So that was our handbag collection. And we actually have more than this and it's really embarrassing that we have this many bags. But we kind of picked out our favourites and the ones that we would turn to the most. Yeah. As opposed to just all our bags. <laughs> And we, and we kind of chose a range from like the sort of cheapies that, any, that you can yeah. afford, like to the middle range. Because I don't think you need to it. spend that. Like there are a few bags that are, you know, just trend bags and yeah. I wouldn't pay. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't, like a thousand I don't think I'd bag. ever pay, like there's like the Proenza do a lot of like prints yeah. of those bags of the PS2, of the P2, so. And um, like camo and stuff, I don't know if I'd ever pay a print for that much money. Just because yeah. next no, season it'll I be wouldn't. out of style. And, and plus, it took, it literally, and when I buy it, like, I bought two design packs in my life. When it, I do buy it, it, I've been looking at that one for, like, two years, and, like, this one for, like, like, a year. Yeah. <laughs> like, it takes me a while to, like, to make sure that it's not a one-season bag that's going to go on sale. Yeah. But, yeah. So, that's everything. Yeah. Hope you liked it. Um, comment on your favourite bags from our collection or just your favourite bags in general and we'll yeah. love to know some because I'm sure I want to add to my collection. Yeah. Alright. Bye. Bye.